So this elephant right here is made of elephant turd, and he's gonna help us today to help you understand why using 10 times magnification inside the ESORS viewfinder is gonna help you take sharper, more accurate photos for microphotography and portraits. Let's get into it right now. What is going on you guys? My name is Daniel and on this channel we go over everything mirrorless cameras and today we're going over the magnification that you can use in your viewfinder or on your articulating screen to get more accurate shots during photography, specifically during portraits or when you're trying to nail itty bitty micro photography things. We have two examples that we're gonna show you and we're gonna explain how it's used and best uses. So we're gonna be using this lens right here. This is a 75 to 300 millimeter it has no in-body stabilization, and I got it for 30 euros from somebody because the lens cover cap part is busted off. I use this maybe once every 300 shots I take, so it's, it's good because I have that zoom range, but I have to be insanely steady, and it has a really hard time focusing. So I'm gonna use this technique to help this lens find focus so much better. A lot of the focusing power comes out of the ESOR and its own ability with its sensor to detect contrast, and that's what makes it such an accurate camera, not an accurate lens. So we're gonna make it even more accurate, which is using the viewfinder setting to 5X and 10X your viewfinder zoom. This will help you most when doing macro photography or portraits and you wanna make sure the eye is spot on. So we're gonna go in and you can see exactly what's being focused on. Whereas sometimes when you press the focus button, it is kind of their entire face that's being focused on rather than specifically their eye, which is what you want because that's what you want people to be drawn into. As well, when you have small itty bitty things like what I'm gonna show you is gonna happen here because of how I've set this up, you're gonna be able to focus on things that are hardly even less than a millimeter apart and be able to focus on one and the other accurately so you can get wonderful micro photography shots with the ESOR. So I'm gonna come in and take this shot, but I really wanna make sure that the focus is exactly on this elephant's eye because I want everybody to be drawn into that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus in exactly on that eye and move it ever so slightly so that I'm right there with it. And then I'm going to pull focus and take the picture. And this is gonna allow it to be so tack sharp exactly where it's at. Now I'm gonna show you exactly what happens when you have a photo where you are taking it of things that are very, very close together. And you wanna make sure that your razor sharp focus is exactly where you want it to be. As you can see, it's really difficult to tell through the viewfinder what is in focus until you zoom in here And then you can see, obviously, that now the horns are in focus from that reindeer, and now the trunk from the elephant. And this is gonna allow you to make sure that you nail focus every single time for your microphotography with your itty bitty, itty bitty little things that you need to get done. Okay, so now to answer the question that all the kids are asking. How do you actually get into this setting where you can zoom in 5X and 10X? So right here, I'm gonna show you real quick over here. So right there we have a wonderful thing of flowers that you can't really see. They're kind of out there a little bit. I can see them fine, but you can't because it's so far away. Let's come in here a little bit closer. Okay. Focus on that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to focus and then to make sure that you're nailing focus, what you're going to do is you're going to press this button right here, focus, and then you're going to press info, info. And that's going to put you at 5x, then 10x, then back to normal, 5X, 10X. And you can take your picture and it will give you the entire frame. So if you enjoyed this video and me and my little turd elephant have helped you learn something with your Canon EOS R, don't forget to like and subscribe because on this channel, we do everything mirrorless Canon cameras. My name is Daniel. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.